welcome to the second part of our discussion on the financial assets in government accounting. So we ended on the bank reconciliation statement and now we look at uh, the receivables. So under the government accounting, we have accounts receivable, notes receivable, loans receivable, and the other receivables. So uh, when we look at accounts receivable, this refers to the amounts due from customers arising from regular trade and business transactions. So regular trade and business transactions. When we... Uh, Pag notes receivable naman, this is essentially the same with that of accounts receivable. However, it is uh, in a formal instrument of credit such as a promissory note. When it is a loan receivable, this is uh, normally used in the Bureau of Treasury National Government books to recognize loans extended by the national government to government financial institutions or mga GFIs or GOCCs covered by loan agreements. So, Normally, yan ay makikita mo sa mga Bureau of Treasury books. So, other receivables, these are uh, interest receivable due from employees, officers, and other NGAs, lease receivables, dividend receivable, and the like. So, makikita natin on GAM for National Government Agencies Volume 3, yung uh, classifications na itong mga accounts receivable, kung kailan natin sila gagamitin. Itong mga receivable accounts, I mean, kung kailan natin sila gagamitin. Okay. So, the concept under the receivable account is to use the fair value plus the transaction cost at initial measurement. Kanina, identify na natin yung mga transaction cost na yan. And subsequently, using amortized cost. Okay? We look at now. Uh, investments. So under the investments, we have we have to discuss financial asset at fair value, true surplus or deficit. Etong true surplus or deficit, this is essentially the same as that of true profit or loss. Pero kasi in government accounting, uh, hindi natin tinitingnan yon as profit. Okay, so ang, ang terminologies na ginagamit is surplus or deficit. Kaya ganyan yung um, item niya. Held to maturity, loans and receivables, okay, and then available for sale financial assets. Okay? So, under page 173, a tabulation of the summary of measurements of the investments will be uh, discussed. So, doon naka-identify itong apat na ito. So, initially, kung makikita mo doon sa tabulation, ang initial measurement ng financial asset at fair value through surplus or deficit is at fair value. Yung initial measurement ng the rest is at fair value plus transaction cost. Okay? And then, subsequently, yung financial asset at fair value through surplus or deficit is measured at fair value. Okay? Subsequently, ha, fair value at any changes in the fair value are recognized in surplus or deficit. Yung held to maturity, loans and receivable ay subsequently measured at amortized cost using the effective interest method. Okay, so we will not be discussing the effective interest method because it, it is uh, uh, imperative that you have already learned it under your financial accounting. The available for sale financial assets is measured at fair value at sub subsequently measured at fair value and any changes in fair value are recognized in equity. Okay. So some examples of uh, proceeding the tabulation will guide you on how to use the account titles. So kung makikita mo uh, on case number one, okay, this is a financial asset, fair value through surplus or deficit because this is financial asset held for trading. Ang ginagamit nating account is debit financial asset held for trading and yung any uh, transaction cost dahil nga at fair value mo minimeasure initially yan ay nakacharge sa other financial charges. So meron tayong ganong account title in the uh, revised chart of accounts. Kapag naman uh, the investment is classified as held to maturity, ang ginagamit po nating account is investments in treasury bills, local. Okay? Kapag available for sale financial assets, ang ginagamit natin is investment in stocks or bonds. So, it will depend kung yan ba is stocks or in bonds. Okay? 
So, kung mapapansin mo on the illustrations, ay ang naka-indicate na credit dyan ay yung cash in bank, local currency, Banko Central ng Pilipinas. Banko Central ng Pilipinas. Why? Simply because itong mga ganitong klaseng investments ay uh, ang Banko Central ng Pilipinas ang gumagawa ng mga ganitong movement on, the fin on their finances. Hindi yan ginagawa ng mga, uh, mga agencies. Normally, kaya ang normal yung gumagawa niyan is yung uh, yung yung BSP and and the uh, and other yung mga national agencies talaga. Kaya nga uh, yung mga investments in stocks, investment in treasury bills, kaya yan ay nakakredit sa cash in bank, local currency Banko Central ng Pilipinas. Okay? Okay. So now let's uh, proceed with uh, the concept of uh, derivatives. So, a derivative is a financial asset, instrument, or other contract that uh, derives its value from the changes in value of some other underlying asset. So, the, the concept of derivative here is the same with that of discuss if, sa financial accounting mo. Walang pinagkaiba yung concept niya. Diba? And itong mga derivative, hedging instruments, relationship ng fair value hedge, cash flow hedge, and uh, yung hedge of a net investment in a foreign operation, these are also done by uh, the Banko Central ng Pilipinas uh, in, in ascertaining kung makikita kasi nila na meron tayong funds that are really not... Uh, Uh, yung mga idle funds, so pwede natin siyang ipasok in, in several types of investments para mag-earn tayo ng uh, interest on that item. Okay? Kaya, kung mapapansin mo, uh, uh, meron siyang konting discussion on, on derivatives here, but we will not be dealing more of the derivatives because kung titingnan mo yung kabuuan ng national government agencies in the Philippines, they are really not involved into the analysis of investments and analysis of derivatives because ito ay pineperform lang ng mga agencies that are entrusted with this function such as the Banko Central ng Pilipinas. Okay? Essentially, okay, the same. Okay. If you have to look at uh, some items or yung detailed discussion on uh, derivatives, you have to look for Chapter 7, Section 19 of the Government Accounting Manual for National Government Agencies. So, I think that ends our discussion for financial assets. This two-part video deal, uh, dealt with uh, the financial assets in government accounting and in uh, succeeding uh, uh, discussion videos, we will move to uh, inventories and other items of assets in our uh, financial statements in government accounting. So thank you for uh, listening and thank you for uh, having time in looking at this discussion video on financial assets. Thank you.